Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, this is uh, lesson 2 on the NumPy Python library. And uh, guys, uh, before we start, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please subscribe, like and share the video to your friends and uh, to the returning subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for your continued support. And so guys, uh, let's first of all open the Jupyter Notebook. We can use a CMD or a PowerShell. So let me just uh, use a CMD here to open it. Then uh, let me just type, it, type here a Jupyter Notebook. And then I uh, click enter so that it may open the notebook. And then uh, guys, uh, once it's open, then I click here on the, on the new. And then uh, guys, you can give it any name like uh, here. Let me just say... Uh, numpy you can give it any name but then uh, let me say a uh, numpy then uh, let me uh, rename it and so guys uh, let's do a quick recap on what we discussed in the previous uh, class so basically guys i uh, showed you how to import uh, the numpy library and then uh, how to uh, and how to use it guys uh, to import we use the keyword uh, import uh, we use we use uh, this uh, keyword import and then uh, the lab actually the library is a uh, numpy numpy itself and then i guess uh, this is how you can import the uh, this uh, numpy library basically guys i showed you how to uh, how to install the numpy in the previous class but then i'm just doing a quick recap so that everybody may be on board then uh, here perhaps you can create here an array uh, with a variable name perhaps let me say a for array and then uh, let me create now a numpy a numpy dot uh, dot array dot array and then um and then uh, here i can create a list for example sorry a list a list is defined using the you know these are uh, these what these are square uh, brackets perhaps let me say one uh, two three four uh, five and then now uh, to print we also add the print function which is uh, print uh, print what? Uh, print um, uh, print uh, a for array. Then at run, guys, we use this uh, run button. And then, uh, guys, you can see here at the bottom we have just uh, printed this uh, list one, two, three, four, five. So, guys, uh, basically this is how you can import and uh, use the the numpy. And uh, guys, uh, we can as well use numpy as uh, np. So, guys, uh, basically numpy is usually imported under the np alias. And for those who don't know alias, so basically guys in Python, alias are the alternate name for uh, referring to the same thing. Like uh, we can create an alias with the uh, AS keyword, you know, while importing. So let me show you that. So we use the import keyword to import NumPy or any other module, NumPy. And then now this AS, key AS keyword, uh, we can use it to to, to use this, uh, uh, this alias, which is uh np uh np so guys uh, basically this is how you can do it this is how you can import the uh this number number is a uh, alias so um basically let me show you how, you how uh, it works also so for example let me create an uh, a variable here uh then i will actually let me create this uh, this array then i'm gonna use the alias np np dot array np dot array and then now um the i'm using the li the list basically you can use as well the dictionary but then uh, let me just use the list again one uh, two three four and uh, so forth so let me say print remember the print function is used to execute the codes at the terminal i guess by now you understand and then now uh, ah uh, sorry ah uh, sorry 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 um hmm. uh, to run it guys we use uh, this uh this uh, run button here and then i guess you can see that uh, we can as well use the alias to uh to work with this uh, numpy and so guys uh, basically this was a recap of what we discussed in the previous class but then uh, today we are going to discuss in details how to create this uh these uh, numpy arrays so guys uh let's try this um let me first import the let me first import this numpy as uh, with an ally with the with the alias let me copy and then uh, let me just uh, you know paste it paste it here and then i uh, here guys i'm gonna do it let me create uh, the variable name basically you can use any other like uh, let me say x uh, x and then uh, here 
let me assign it to this uh, function uh, np dot array i said that i will use the array function to uh, to do it to create the number uh, in the array and then i'm gonna use again the um uh, the the list and then uh, perhaps one uh two uh three four five six uh seven and uh, so forth and so uh let me say uh print uh, let me say print and let me say print what let me say print um uh, print, print uh, a uh, actually it is uh, x uh, it is x and then again to detect to know the uh, these are the type object we are going to use uh, again the print function uh, print and then uh, let me say type because i want to see the type there if it's in the array and then i do it uh, let me it is x uh, yeah x so to run it uh, we use this uh, run uh, button and then I guess you can see the class here is uh, numpy dot uh, nd array. So guys, uh, basically we can do it. We can uh, create a uh, numpy nd array by you know by using the object. Uh, actually, by using the array function. Uh, and so guys, uh, you can now understand that uh, we can as well uh, create this uh, nd array using the actually nd array object using the uh, the array function. And then again, also this a type function. Actually, this a type here. Uh, it basically is a building a Python function that tells us the the type of the object you know passed uh, to it. Like uh, this uh, example that I've just shown you, uh, which you have used it to show that uh, this uh, x actually this uh, x is a numpy uh, dot um, nd array type. So guys, uh, to create uh, the uh, ND array, we can pass a list, a tuple, or uh, any array of, like object, and uh, it will be converted into the uh, ND array. So let me show you uh, this uh, example. Uh, but then I uh, guess uh, basically this is just an example that I've just shown you. We don't have to repeat the same. Uh, and so guys, uh, in a few, let's talk about the dimensions in array. So guys, a uh, dimension in a in array is one uh, is one level of array depth, or uh, sometimes called the nested array, of which are the arrays that have arrays as their you know as their elements. And then I guess uh, let's begin with the zero D array or a zero dimensional array, sometimes called scalars. You know these are the elements in a uh, in the in the array. Uh, each value in array is a zero D array. And uh, a good example, um, let me just uh, copy this one here. Then I do it. Let me just uh, paste it here. But then I uh, here let me just uh, give it any value like uh, let me say something like uh, 30 and then I uh, run it. So guys, uh, basically this is an example of a zero D uh, array. And I uh, guess uh, the next one is uh, is a one dimensional array. So guys, uh, basically an array that has a zero to zero dimensional array as its element is uh, called a unidimensional or a one D uh, you know array. So guys, uh, these are the most uh, common and the uh, basic array. Let me and a good example is this one. Uh, basically, this one, uh, this one. So guys, uh, basically, this is an example of a unidimensional uh, array that uh, contains the value um, one, two, three, four, five, six to seven. So let's talk about the two-dimensional array or a two-D array. So guys, an, an array that uh, has one one-dimensional array as its element. Uh, it's called a uh, you know a two-dimensional array, and uh, these are often used to to represent a matrix or a uh, you know a second uh, order tensors. So uh, let me show you an example how to create a two uh, D array, actually two-dimensional array containing two arrays uh, with the values, for example one two three four five six seven twice. So um what I'm gonna do guys uh, here? Let me just uh, copy. Mm, let me just uh, copy here and then I do it. Let me just uh, paste it here. And by then, I'm gonna you do it. I'm gonna use uh, another, another, um, uh, another, you know, square bracket. And then, uh, guys, uh, what I'm gonna do here, uh, sorry, um, it should be like uh, this, then a uh, comma, sorry, comma, then uh, let me again uh, do it. 
Uh, let me again uh, copy this one. Uh, let me copy this one, then uh, do it. Let me just uh, paste it there. And then I uh, do it. Let me uh, run. And then I uh, guess uh, basically you can see that uh, we have done what we have just uh, printed what this uh, uh, 2D array containing the two arrays in there uh, with these uh, values 1 to 7. Uh, three. The let's to go to another one which is at uh, you know a three dimension array or a three D arrays. So guys, uh, basically an array that has two D uh, two D arrays matrices as its element is called a three D array. Um, what I'm gonna do guys uh, here? Let me uh, let me do it. Let me just uh, copy uh, this one. Let me just uh, copy and then I do it. Let me just uh, paste it here. Uh, and so guys, uh, for you to understand better, let me delete these values uh, inside here and so that uh, you may grasp everything. Uh, and I uh, guess I said that uh, an array that has uh, two, uh, two dimensions, uh, actually two, uh, that has 2D arrays or a matrices, as uh, its element is called a 3D array. So let me show you just uh, this example here. Um, basically here we use what? We use a 3. A 3 what? Uh, three um three what three square uh, brackets and then uh, here perhaps let me just use uh, symbol values like here let me say one uh, comma two uh, comma and then uh, again uh, let me go to three and then uh, uh here let me just done do it um hmm. uh, here let me guys uh, do it let me uh, create a comma here and then again uh, here uh let me again uh, create what this uh, square bracket and then uh, here let me say again a uh, four uh four five uh six and then uh, again uh, let me also create another one uh, another one let me say six uh seven uh eight so guys remember i said that uh, an array that has a uh, two dimensional array matrices as its elements actually the elements are these uh, values these uh, stuffs inside here so guys uh, basically that one is called what is called a, a 3d what uh, a 3d uh, array so guys uh, to run it you remember how to run just click on this uh, run button and then i uh, guess you can see that we have done what we have just uh, created what these are uh, a 3d uh, array uh, so guys uh, let's talk about how we can check numbers of uh, dimension so guys uh, basically numpy arrays provide the the uh, nd uh, ndim uh, attribute that uh, returns an integer that, that tells how many uh, dimension you know the arrays uh, the array have so guys uh, basically i'm going to show you here an example how to check how many dimension the array have so what i do let me just uh, uh, copy this one then uh, uh do it let me just uh, paste it here because i like working you know, with these uh, alias so i'm gonna create three variables here let me create first of all the uh, a and then uh, do it let me assign it to this uh one dimension actually zero dimensional array actually yeah uh, this one um this one dimensional array so what i do guys uh, let me just uh, copy let me copy and then I do do it. Uh, let me just uh, paste it here and then again uh, let me create B and then uh, again uh, let me do it. Let me copy this uh, second one. Uh, this one. Um, uh, sorry. Let me just uh, copy and then again uh, let me do it. Let me just uh, paste it here and then uh, C. See, I'm gonna use what this one, and then I do it. Let me just uh, uh, paste it here, and then um, again, uh, perhaps. Um, oh, uh, I forgot to add the zero dimensional array, it should be so. Let me create here a then uh, let me assign it to uh, basically where is the zero dimensional array um zero dimensional array uh where is it um yeah here it is let me just uh, copy and then i do it let me just uh, paste it here then uh, here let me say um b 
uh, here should be a C and then uh, here it is D. So guys, uh, basically I want us to check uh, how to check uh, you know the numbers or not the number of dimensions. Now guys, uh, we are going to use here uh, for uh, for what for uh, print functions when the uh, NDIM you know uh, attribute. Remember I said that uh, that uh, basically that uh, attribute is used to uh, return you know an integer that tells how many dimension the array have. So we use this uh, print function to execute the codes. But then uh, here we use the attribute. First of all, I'm gonna begin with the A. We use this uh, NDIM attribute. And that is uh, NDIM uh, attribute will return the integer that uh, tells us uh, how many uh, dimension the array have. So let me do this, let me just uh, copy. And then I do it, uh, so guys, uh, let me just uh, copy. Then I do it, let me just uh, paste um, four times. Uh, and then uh, here let me change it to to what to be uh, here let me change it to C here let me change it to D then I do it let me run and then I guess as you can see that uh, A had a zero dimension B had a one dimension uh, uh, C had um, at, uh, actually two dimension then a D had a three uh, dimension and I guess basically that's how you can uh, find the number of uh, dimension the array has. But then uh, we have just discussed to three uh, dimensions, 3D. But then uh, let's talk about uh, basically higher dimensional array. So guys, an array I can have uh, any number of dimensions. So uh, when the array is created, you can uh, define the number of uh, dimension by using the uh, NDIM uh, in our argument. So let me show you an example how to create an array perhaps with a five dimension and I verify that it has a five uh, dimension. So what I'm gonna do guys, uh, let me use uh, this, um, uh, this uh, uh, module here. Let me paste it here. And then uh, guys, uh, let me create here a variable for example. Um, let me use uh, this one. This uh, first uh, one dimension. Then uh, let me assign it. Uh, sorry, let me here assign it to this uh, one dimension. And then uh, here, guys, uh, what I'm gonna do? Um, I said that I will use a uh, nd uh, m i n uh, argument. So here, guys, uh, what I'm gonna do here? Let me uh, say uh, put a comma first of all, and then uh, using this argument n. Uh, sorry, nd m i n and then uh, you can define the uh, the number of uh, dimension for example five and then uh, here let me say print let me say uh, print what uh, print uh, this uh, a so to print a for example it is you can see that uh, we have done what we have just uh, printed what this uh, these are three uh, these are five uh, dimension uh, let's uh, determine uh, you know the number of uh, dimensions here uh, by using this uh, print function, let me say print, uh, print, uh, print, and then uh, perhaps let me create here a string, for example, let me say, for example, uh, let me say the number, uh, the number of uh, dimension, dimen, dimensions, dimen, dimension, dimension, number of uh, dimension dimensions is or are let me say is uh, i'm not that good in english um hmm. and then now uh, we use what we use uh remember we use uh, this uh, um attribute let me say a dot um uh, n d i m uh, n d i uh, i m so run it and then I guess you can see that uh, the number of a dimension is, uh, is five. So guys, uh, basically this is how you can define what this, how you can work with the higher dimensional arrays. So guys, uh, basically this is what I wanted to show you in this video and I guess you've gained something. Please uh, go ahead, uh, subscribe, like and share the video to your friends. Until next time, this is Nehemiah. Goodbye.